briefing on COVID-19 on 31st March 2020 for Nagaland. As of 3 p.m. today, 25 samples have been sent for testing, out of which 22 were negative, and three samples results are awaited. A total of 4,704 people, including students, who have returned from outside the state from 6 March 2020 onwards, have self-reported to their respective district surveillance teams and have been home quarantined, out of which 876 have completed quarantine. Today, another base of medical equipment in the form of PPE kits, hand gloves, hand sanitizer, N95 mask, portable ventilator, ICU ventilator, full face mask, etc. For Nagaland has been sent from Delhi to Bahati and from Bahati it will be transported by road tomorrow to the state. Today, 5,000 liters of sodium hypo chloride, gloves and sanitizers have also been received from Guwahati. Through the self-declaration and COVID-19 Nagaland app, a total number of 3,905 persons have self-registered in the app with all the required information. Do we feel in while 1,165 persons have not completed their full details. I once again appeal those who have entered the state after 6 March 2020 to self-register in the app with your full details. The total number of persons screened in the state till now is 36,494. A total of 32,121 phone calls have also been received through our health helpline numbers. The position of availability of food grains, POL, and all other kinds of essential commodities continue to be normal across the state. Further, the district level price monitoring committees have also been instructed to constantly monitor the price situation and fix the prices of essential communities, along with the stakeholders, such as the Chamber of Commerce and Industries and Business Associations. The people are requested to continue strict adherence to the lockdown measures enforce and to stay at home. Further, as shops, while buying food and other essential commodities, all are requested to strictly adhere to social distancing measures. We will also like to inform that all kinds of gatherings are banned, are barred, including religious congregations during the lockdown period. As such mass gatherings have the potential of easily allowing the spread of the virus, thereby putting the life of many people in serious danger. All the faith-based organizations are hence advised to completely refrain from holding any religious congregation of any kind which may see gathering of a large number of people during the lockdown. We end by saying that together we can. Nagaland against COVID-19. Thank you.